Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video. Well, hey family, happy Saturday. I hope everybody is having a really good Saturday so far. Um, before I run up out of here to go do a whole bunch of errands and mail off some packages and uh, do some other kind of stuff. And then I'm going to stop in Walmart. Uh, Walmart sell the candles that I like to burn. I burn candles like almost every single day it would be crazy for me not to burn a candle every day i just love the way candles smell i buy the um i think they're white cotton sunset breeze and uh it's lilac something but there's three certain candles that i like to buy from walmart so i'm down to my last candle so i do need to stop off at walmart and that's always a jungle so um, when I can, I will go through the nursery instead of going through the main entrance. And when you go through the nursery for the store I go to, there's generally I can go in and I can go out. So I'm hoping that'll be the case today when I stop by and grab my little candles. Um, I also like the, the ambience, that candle set, you know. So I'm going to stop and get some of those. What I'm doing now is I'm making some, um, I'm going to make some more pendants because I got a bunch of bevels I need to put together so i was thinking i'm going to use some of the beads uh that i got yesterday and i only want to put well i'm going to see what they look like i'm only going to put the bead in and then if i can surround the bead with some other smaller beads that's what i'm going to do so this is what we're going to do i'm going to e6000 and a couple of people were saying they were they have bell bevels and they weren't really sure you know what to do with them or they've done something else with them and this is a new idea to them that's good stuff i can't wait to see what you guys create and if you don't mind can you share a picture so i can see share it in the group the facebook group so i'm gonna take my little e6000 i've been working with e6000 for years i mean it it, it is the master i know there's a lot of other good glues out there too but i just I'm an E6000 fan, and I think I came up on E6000 one of the YouTube channels like a really long time ago. I was, um, what was I doing? I needed a some type of ad adhesive for something. I think I was trying to make me a little leather bag or something. I told the story about that little leather bag I had bought from Art and Artifacts. And I wore the bag so much to the paint start coming off of it. And, you know, the straps start breaking and all kind of stuff. And I wanted something like that and I couldn't find it. So I tried to make my own. And I think that's that's where the glue came in at because I wasn't sewing or anything. I'm trying to grab this wire. Cause I'm going to spread this E6000 out on here. Make sure it's in every little area. Because I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, uh, you guys can see this, I'm going to put some teeny beads in every area and I need the glue to be everywhere. Filling in them empty spaces. So I'm going to start with this, this big one right here. I'm going to try to put it right in the center. Like so. It's going to be right in the center like that. And then I'm going to take some of the smallest yellow beads that I have and start filling it in around it making sure i don't know if you guys can see this making sure that the b stays center centered so just start putting the beads in start putting some in on the side that'll lock it in kind of secure it if i start putting them on the side too Let's 
see if this is going to work out like I want it to work out. And if it don't, guess what? No worries. We just know it won't work out. That's all. So I just want to surround it with these little yellow beads. Y'all probably can't see none of this, but I'll let you see in a minute. I'm trying to let's see it's, to the, it's going to the side. So I need to put a bead over here. One here. And then maybe a little small one right there to start securing it on the side. Um, did somebody say something about risen? I'm not going to put risen. Is it risen? Yeah, risen. I'm not going to put any of that in here because I don't, I don't, you know, want it to look like that. When, because with some things with the risen, it don't look good to me. And I think handmade should look handmade. I don't want it to look generic. And when you start using risen and doing like what everybody else is doing, that takes away from the uniqueness of a piece. And I know risen is good and it probably secures things and it does all that, but eh, I don't, I don't want it. But it does look good on a lot of what people, you know, create. I just don't want to use it. Then that means that's something else I got to get into, some risen. I'm like, is it raisin, risen? Yeah, I don't want to do all that. Y'all know I'm simple. I'm not trying to do any of that. The easier, the better. Um, I need another really small piece like right here. So that's the idea is to surround it. And I think I got one more small one that can maybe fit right here. And then that's what we're going to come out with. It looks probably a little funny right now, but once it's dried, I like the way it looks. Because once it dries, it's going to be a pendant. And then we're going to use this pendant. I got some beads. And in fact, I'm probably going to be using some of these beads right here for the necklace. But I'm going to pop it. So stay around. We're going to make it look real good. So now we got that in there. Uh, dang it. One of them came up from somewhere. I think from the side. Oh, wow. And then I, I'm going to have to... Um, try to get this off. All right, so I'm going to let this sit. And it's nice and filled in. And then we're going to work on another one. So we're going to let that one dry. And then... I'm going to actually just put a couple of the beads just in. And they're just going to sit. I'm not going to put anything else in it. So I'm going to put some glue in here. And I'm only doing it right in the center part because that's where the bead is going to sit. So I'm going to sit it right here, right in the middle. And then this is what this one is going to look like. You know what? I might put some stuff around it. Let me see. Let me take the bead out. Dang it. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me let me do this. I'm gonna take some take some glue and put it in here. And all I'm using is a piece of wire. So anytime I don't get glue in there, I use a piece of wire. I usually have some toothpicks to put some glue in here. 
Yeah, I swear I can't see nothing I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do and then I think what I'm gonna do, let me see, maybe move this bead all the way to the bottom. Cause I think I done messed this up already. put it at the bottom. I don't think I want it like that though. But I'm going to go ahead and finish it off because I don't want to waste anything. So either way, I'm going to make it look like something. And then we're just going to put some red beads up here. And then maybe two it to the side and then put some beads in here fill it in like so this one is just sitting on top of it so it's not touching any glue. So let's put another one. It needs to be able to touch some glue. And then I, I may not be talking loud enough because um, I'm kind of talking to myself. And then what I'm going to do, because it's a little space right here. Y'all probably can't see that, but right there. So I'm going to put a little glue right there because I'm going to put a stone on top of it. I'm gonna try to put it on top of it without making a mess. So I'm gonna just dab it on like that. And then we're gonna put this stone right here on top and it hides that bottom part. And then that's what we're gonna do. So then we're gonna come out with this one. So we have two, two separate stones. Um, this one, let me see if I could put a little something right there in the corner. That might work. So we'll see. I'm going to let it dry. Because no matter what it come out looking like, I'm going to still use the pendant. So that's two that we did. And then we're going to let these dry. I like the way they look so far. And see if you pour. You know, I like them just like that. Um, And then let's try one of these. And these I'm going to just put in here. I don't want to do... I think I'm going to just put them in here, but let, let's see. You know what? Um, I'm going to do the whole bezel. I'm going to do the whole bezel. Y'all know how I be doing. Hush. Not really sure what I'm going to do, in that, but I'm going to do something. Okay. So we got a lot of um, E6000 in there. Make sure it's in all our corners because we're going to put all I'm doing is taking the wire and just moving some of the E6000 in the corners because I'm going to try to put beads all around it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this, uh, this bead right here put this down 
lay that on top. And then I'm going to take some of the, um, you guys probably can't see this at all. And then I'm going to take some of these clear beads. That's like these little bitty ones. No, maybe I should do color. Let's do some turquoise around it. That's we're gonna do some turquoise. We're gonna put something in every corner for right now to make it pretty solid. start putting something on the side one on the side oops wrong color need a smaller one for the side this one right here. Just take another one on the side. So I do need to put one at the bottom right here to, to secure it. So we're going to put one right here. And then we got pieces, beads on each side to secure it. So to stay in the middle, we need another one for the side. These are not really flat, but we're going to put in here what we can. And then I'm going to straighten the bead, make sure it's straight. I need another one for the side, kind of flat. And then I need another one for right here. And then I think I need something right here in this little space. Now that that's not gonna work. Um, I see some a little part right here at the top. So I'm gonna see if I can find something I can that's kind of flat. A bead that's flat, like maybe this one. And then it's moving down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little glue, like right here. I don't know why my camera looks so dark. This don't look like it was a very good video. Probably because the way I'm holding everything and doing everything. But like right here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. And then I'm going to put a stone on top of it so that little area is filled in. You do got to cap that E6000 because if you don't, it'll be running all over the place. And let's see if we can find a nice small one. Um, yeah, maybe this one. And then up here at the top, too, I'm going to put low blue and then put another one up there. 
this don't seem like it was a good video i'm gonna show you anyway at the end what they look like it, this is one of them videos where it probably need to be screening like recording from the top showing you guys from the top okay so i'm gonna put another uh just a small one And what I'm doing at the top is I'm putting a bead, I'm gluing a bead on top of a bead to, to close up spaces. Because I don't want to see um, Okay, so we did do three. And then this is what this one is going to look like. And I do have beads that I can match um the turquoise and then this light i guess a lilac purplish color bead so this one we did this one and then i usually let whenever i use the e6000 i usually let them uh, dry uh 24 hours e6000 it 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 holds it really fast it start to hold really fast but just for security i let mine dry uh for 24 hours so this is the second one. And then this is the third one. And then once we start stringing beads on it, you'll see how unique they look. Just very different, unlike any other, um, you know, like pendants and stuff. And I think that's what handmade is all about. It's all about walking away from or turning away from what everybody else is doing in the sense of, like with these, you know, I've heard people say that, that they use that uh, raisin, risen, R-E-S-I-N, risen, and, you know, probably would pour it on here to secure it a little bit more. But for me, like I said at the top of the video, it takes away from it for me, and it, it gives it a generic look. It looks like what everybody else is doing. And then my thing is, that's not what I want. And then these are the ones that I... Um, I made these last night. I actually filled these last night. So I'm sure that they are totally dry and ready to be used. So we filled these last night on the other video. So if you were looking for something to do, I mean, how to feel, you know, what to do with the bezels outside of like maybe flowers or whatever, you know, you were putting in, people putting in them, you know, this is an idea too. It's okay to use beads. I mean, that's very different. These are the ones from last night. So I'm going to probably use these today to make some stuff. I really like the way they came out. Really like the way they came out. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I got to go do a bunch of errands and stuff, so... Yeah, these are real nice. These are yesterday's. And then these are today's. Yes, ma'am. And then these are today's. And I got these, uh, the bezels off of Amazon. The link is in the description down there too. So how many came in here? I think 20. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So these are twenty. Um, I started to get the little round bevels because I have used those before, and those necklaces. I sold all of those at when I was doing that sold swap meet last year. All those sold out because all I did was fill the bevels with the natural stones. And I put the little leather uh, strap on it with the little small lobster class. And those sold like that. I mean, people were buying those in twos. So the people like them. But this time I wanted something bigger. So I did see these. So I went ahead and grabbed these. But anyway, that's all there is. Ain't no more for right now. We got a lot of new subscribers. And I want to thank you all for uh, subscribing to the channel. 
and whatever made you subscribe to the channel, I do hope and pray that you see more of that. You're encouraged and inspired to keep creating or maybe start creating or even if you just stopping by just to see what I'm creating, right? Um, I'm For me, the Jury by BDK YouTube channel is um, more like a... It is for, for jury making ideas, maybe a couple, not, I don't even call them tutorials, just like whatever I'm doing and you see that I'm doing it and you want to do it like I'm doing it, I will do it on camera. So it's not necessarily tutorials or anything like that. Maybe do it yourself um, the way that you want to do it, do it yourself type situation. So not necessarily doing it and saying this is how you have to do it because you don't have to do it that way. Um, I'm just pretty much giving an idea for something. And that's what ideas, you know, ideas are meant to be um, built upon, you know, stacked upon and then taken into di different directions as it relates to a person's creativity. So however you want to create it, whatever idea here you see that you want to use, by all means, use, use it. I mean, anytime you put anything in the public domain, just know that you're saying to the public, you are welcome to use what is out, what I'm doing. So there's a lot of things that I create or things that I do that I don't share on video because I'm aware that anything you put into the public domain, it tells the public that they can use it, right? So you got to be mindful when you're doing things. And I would never understand when people put things in the public domain and then people use it and you're upset that they use it. That is like the stupidest mindset to me. So don't put it in the public domain, right? But that's all there is, Marie, no more, right? Um, also, um, the Jury by BDK YouTube channel, uh, like a fashion show, but an accessory show. So even if you don't make jewelry and you like to look at jewelry and like to see different pieces and that type of things, because I like to see the little fashion shows and I've been to a couple of fashion shows too. Like I love that whole vibe of just looking at, so a lot of that stuff I would dare not wear, but I do like to look at it to see what it looks like, just, you know, just the, the, the prettiness of it, the uniqueness of it, the weirdness of it, the outrageousness of it, and then back to the elegance of it, right? So I like that whole spectrum of fashion. I really like to see that. And so it goes for the YouTube, Jerry by BDK YouTube channel. That is what I'm trying to give, like this whole accessory fashion show, in a sense, accessory show, if, if, you, if you, you know, understand what I'm saying. But anyway, it's a Saturday. I had a couple errands to do, so I'm going to run up out of here and uh, do this. And I will be back later. And guess what, family? We'll talk.